Is Bryce Young any good? Are the Panthers going to be better than the hot dog water they proved to be last year? Well, yeah, I think so. And I think a lot of places have it wrong, betting on them to be the worst team in football again, because really, this isn't the same team as they've turned over 50% of their roster. And obviously, there will be some key faces coming back with Bryce Young, Adam Thielen, and Derek Brown, all starters for last year's worst team in the league. But this year, they've actually built a solid supporting cast around them, so it's not just Bryce trying to chuck it to one guy. First of all, they spent a bunch of money getting two of the top O-linemen in the free agent class in Robert Hunt and Damian Lewis, immediately plugging them in as starting guards, and I mean, that's massive. O-line, not a sexy position. I played it in high school, but so important. And they also traded with the Steelers to grab Deontay Johnson. Say what you will about his year last year. He's dynamic, and he should be an immediate impact starter next to Thielen. And maybe the biggest change on offense is Ian Thomas. His awful contract is no longer starting at tight end. I've been so tired over the years of hearing that Ian Thomas is a good blocker, like it means something. Being an average blocker and not good at anything else is not a winning recipe for a starting tight end in the NFL, at least anymore. He's now the backup as they roll with Tommy Tremble. Great name, and we'll see how they use Jatavion Sanders down the road. All those pieces are going to help Bryce, but the most important thing for Bryce and the Panthers was hiring stupid, sexy Dave Canales. Dave Canales has been revitalizing washed QBs for two years now, and he probably has his easiest project in Bryce Young. He was the quarterback coach for the Seahawks in 2022, resurrecting the career of Geno Smith. Then last year, he was the OC that got Baker Mayfield and the Bucks back in the playoffs. Also, there's a really good interview with him on a Bucks podcast on YouTube. You should be able to find it. But now he's in Carolina just giving out great vibes while working his magic, and the team has looked completely different on their one preseason drive. I know it's just one drive, but it at least instilled some faith in me rather than making Panthers fans want to reach for the eject button before the season even starts. Will the Panthers be good? I mean, I think they might be, and maybe even great compared to last season's team. Because while the offense has greatly improved, the D still has a lot of questionable depth after a few great starters. I think they finish in the 6-7 to seven wins territory, and I think they're happy with that. I also don't think they'll be the worst team in their division. Hot take, I think that goes to the Saints this year. But do you think the Panthers are going to get themselves out of the basement, or is it going to be another failure of a season? Let us know down below.